Hello happy people, my name is Dan, and today we are going to be looking at some more GM48 Game Jam games. These are all games made within 48 hours around the theme of side effects. So let's see what we have got. Okay, so up first today we have got Brassica. Now Brassica is a phenomenal game by Cassio Crew? Cassio Crew? I can't... Cassio something crew? I can't pronounce it very well, um, but it is a phenomenal game, and every game we make is usually phenomenal, and this is no exception. What you have to do is you are cursed uh, to turn into broccoli unless you can gather all the ingredients to make a cure soup. Uh, the ingredients are scattered around a maze-like level, and what you have to do is initially you grab the raw ingredients, then as time goes by you have to then cook them as well. Uh, you do that by putting them into the lasers. And if you do, uh, as you just see there, miss some ingredients, you get a side effect. So I had an incomplete cure, so I had nearsightedness, which is shown here. And um, what a fantastic effect that is. Um, it's a really good sort of consequence. You have your magic wand, which you move uh, things around with while you're exploring the level. Once you have everything completed, you go down those stairs. So your list is on the side there. As you can see, I'm moving this box out of the way to gather some ingredients which float around you. And while they're floating around you, you can then use that to cook them or to uh, turn them into what you need. It's a really, really brilliant experience and I am just blown away because, as I've said, they do some... Oh, there's me cooking my ingredients unintentionally because I didn't realise the laser was there. But yeah, it's a fantastic game and I really just think that they've just absolutely blown out of the park again. <laughs> um, so this is... A fun experience. Let's see what else we have got. Okay, so up next today we have Xanatol. Now the first thing I need to point out is this is the first of the next three games that have no sound. I need sound. Uh, so I'm going to add some backing track. As of now, to the end of this video, the music you hear in the background is not from these games. It's from a background noise, just to, just to fill the silence a little. But in Xanatol, uh, I like the background effect uh, for a start, it's very snazzy, it's very interesting. You are what I believe is a, a germ, and what I believe is bugs, uh, on what I think is a petri dish. There's a lot that goes unexplained here, uh, but it's a shooter, a twin stick shooter of I died. Brilliant. <laughs> it's quite a short lived experience because I wasn't quite sure what was going on. Uh, what you have to do is, I assume, collect the pills and defeat the enemies. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that are not very clear, um, but what you're doing, what I find interesting about this is when you are moving around, you are shooting with the uh, WASD keys and moving with the arrow keys. So it's quite disorientating when you need to shoot left and move right. Uh, it's a bit of uh, two things going on at one time in my head doesn't always compute very well. <laughs> um, but it's interesting, um, so you're shooting presumably to stop this infection of uh, blueberries and things are shooting and exploding and I, I die again very quickly uh, as you see there so I think this game needs some explanation because it looks promising there's some interesting things happening I just don't know what they were <laughs> okay so up next we have got troll physics and in troll physics you are switching between troll and normal uh, physics in which you interact with objects and when you are in troll mode they have a different effect to when you are in normal mode. Uh, the physics as you're about to see is a little bit tricky to get the hang of and um, there are some controls which I think are a little bit uh, weird. Space being jump when you're using WASD kind of puts a bit of a weird configuration on, on your fingers when you're trying to, trying to play, but it's fine, maybe it's all part of a trolling. <laughs> um, but in this game, so uh, this is what I was talking about with jump controls, made it a little bit difficult for me to get up on that ledge, um, but it's fine, we did get there in the end. What you have to do is then manipulate the world around you uh, to make things happen. Uh, I did try and switch to normal to see if that would make a difference, it did not, I was just not very good at jumping. <laughs> and what you have to do then is you have to use your troll physics uh, to make, in this case, a torch come towards you, which I'm doing right now. Um, and then what you do after that is you can change it to uh, the, the torch and you use the troll physics to use that effectively like some kind of jetpack. So you see, uh, whoosh, into the air. <laughs> uh, in this one you use a magnet to pull yourself towards a um, square among us face. <laughs> 
uh, so you see a uh, magnet's drawing you towards that. There's a few different bits uh, I, I didn't quite get a chance to explore, I'm going to have to go back and give it another go, purely because um, I did find myself falling off a lot more than I should, <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll need to try that again. But in the meantime, uh, this is quite interesting, it's quite a different take on what I was expecting, so I did enjoy it. it does need some sound though, that is the only issue, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's something that takes a bit of practice, a bit of getting used to, but overall, it's an interesting one. I enjoyed it. Okay, so up next today, uh, we have a game called Sidelong. Now, game is a hesitant uh, or loose term for this one. This is more of a tool than a game. Um, and one thing I will point out, please, uh, to the developer, if you're watching this, make it clear that the mouse wheel changes options because I didn't know that for a while. <laughs> um, basically, there's a lot to play with. I'm going with purple here uh, because I like purple. It's my favorite color. And what you have to do is, well, there's no have to about it. You just you just put dots in, connect them together. You can build structures or you can build pretty shapes, um, whatever you want. It's a nice bit of fun. I think it's very creative. I think the physics going on here is really interesting. Also, I'm inclined to like this on the grounds that each game uploaded to the GM48 website is uploaded sequentially. Now, the GM48 has been going on for about 300 years. And as a result, there are over 2000 games now. This is game 1992. So I'm inclined to like it because I was born in 1992. This game speaks to me. It doesn't at all. Actually, <laughs> it doesn't speak to me in any sense other than the fact that it's fun. I like it. It's interesting. I don't feel necessarily a spiritual connection with it though, uh, just because it was uploaded in the sequence that represents the amount of years I've uh, since um, time started to me. <laughs> Um, either way though, it's it's an interesting one, um, but yeah, the only thing I can criticise is you need the mouse wheel to, to move uh, through the options and I was spending longer than I should have to figure that out. I suppose for some people it might be obvious, to me it's not. <laughs> but you uh, can do a whole lot with this, uh, you can tie them together, you can anchor them. A few things I haven't even tried doing yet, so uh, a lot of things I need to, to go back and try. At the moment though, I'm just spelling out Tidekin. I think that's quite cute. <laughs> um, it's interesting for sure. Um, there's a lot going on. Uh, very impressive, and it's it's just a, it's a it's a sandbox. It's, a, it's there we go. Tidekin, pretty, and it's gone. <laughs> it's pretty. I enjoyed that. Um, it's a lot of fun. And that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you did enjoy. Now all of these games are chosen randomly, uh, so it's just luck of the draw that we've got three in a row. That don't have sound hopefully uh, hopefully the next lot do in the meantime though i hope you did enjoy and if you did be sure to stick around and i will see you in the next one until then bye